Uh, good evening, Dancy elders and committee members. First of all, I'd like to thank the election committee for giving us the time to grieve as a family as this position was held by our, our brother Arnold, who passed away in January. At this time, I'd just like to ask if we can do a moment of silence to remember our brother and our, our former leader. Thank you. Uh, this, evening I, I, this evening, I nominated our brother Alan Conrad Naitauha for many reasons. Uh, just a little background on, on uh, Alan Conrad. Our parents are Amos and Sally Naitauha. Our grandparents are actually from Little, uh, are residing in Little Red, which are Solomon and Sarah Naitauha, and um, our, our grandmother Alice Bird. And uh, just as proud to say that our family is well known in both communities, also the urban sectors. All of us were leaders at one time. There's four of us, uh, three of us that are leaders in our community of Montreal Lake. And, to, and as of this day, all of us are sober. We don't, we don't drink, we don't do drugs, and all of us work. So that's a little bit of history of our family and we supporting, we're supporting our brother Conrad. And uh, I, nominated, I nominated him for many reasons. First and foremost, I believe he has a, cap, a capacity and knowledge to lead our nation. Alan Conrad has been an advocate to well, for wellness for many years. And knowing that in order to lead a community or our community, the importance of living a clean and healthy lifestyle by setting a good example. And he does that, he does that by being alcohol and drug free. He is a family man. He's big, on, he's big on support of our people. He understands the hardships of our, com our communities, our sectors. He no he's not only an advocate for healthy lifestyle and living, he gets along very well with everyone. And he makes time to listen. He hears people out and he finds ways to assist in any way he can. Alan Conrad has been involved in committees for a number of years and understands the hardships that we had to entail in our, within our nation. He's well known throughout our province with social media. He, understand, he understood the need for communication and he, and he actually moved to Ontario in 2015 to pursue an education on film production. Alan Conrad has a YouTube channel in which he shares to people across our nation and he has more than 10,000 subscribers and that is a need for our people to be informed in our communities in, within our successes and also our events. Alan Conrad is not only a supporter of all ages, he is an all-around kind of guy who just loves people. He is big on communication, he is just a wonderful person who would give you the shirt off his back if he had to. And that is what we need in our leadership. One who will help those in need and if he, and if he couldn't help, he will find someone who can. And uh, I believe that he, he's just, a, just an all-around, like I said, an all-around kind of guy who just loves people. And I'm proud to present you, Alan Conrad, Nitawa. That's a uh, thank you, uh, Delia, for the uh, nomination and uh, also the <clears throat> important moment of silence for our late brother, uh, Arnold, who was uh, a counselor, and uh, thank you for my second year at uh, Montreal Lake on Friday with Bernard Bird, and also for uh, one further for the services in Talia. And uh, as we fill this seat for uh, November um, 18th, uh, 2024, and also thank you for Frank, to Frank for our prayer. And thank uh, you. Thank you. Tila ada kapi pigs kuit ta ibi a ibi a wici ta kawin bata ano ta? Tigo ta kaya picho ko ta kapi ibita migwawa. Tigo mo ta one father mina kawin chiwawa. Tigo ay ka ay mister mangwa Frank. My current job right now is at the Senator Allen Bird. Is I'm a school bus driver, and I've been there for this is my third year, and. Other than that, I was a uh, security guard at uh, Go Security out of Alberta for a little bit, and also uh, the uh, uh, 
William Charles Health Center back in 2019. I was a uh, uh, CHR, not a CHR, was it? Or oh, the other, I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, and uh, thank you for uh, Mary who sewed up uh, this uh, nice shirt. So uh, we're about uh, halfway to um, our uh, general election and um, uh, so several others uh, did run, but um, they had the chance to do this uh, over again, but it is kind of a tedious process to resubmit your name and read all the paperwork. So in the end, uh, myself and uh, Ricky ended up uh, the only two candidates for the uh, seat that has to be filled for Montreal Lake. And uh, on the deadline of October, that's what happens, just only two, uh, two candidates. And um, the other thing was, uh, in leadership, I think, uh, for Montreal Lake, we also, uh, we also need to have a, a, a Cree speaker in our leadership. Because, uh, like, there's not too many speakers uh, that we have for Cree in our leadership right now, and I think we only have one, I believe. So that's one of the things that I wanted to point out real quick. And also that uh, I have run for leadership before, and that um, this will be my third uh, time running. And uh, I believe I can do the job because I have experience in uh, working with uh, committees with uh, other uh, boards like MLCFA, like Justice, uh, Membership, uh, Police Management, just to uh, name a few that I've been on. And right now I currently sit with the uh, Kiteskino Steering Committee and the uh, Cree Language Group. And uh, the, uh, the actual job itself, uh, like uh, when, if uh, elected and if I make it in, uh, it's not uh, that I'll be in training for of any kind eh, because the job uh, starts at uh, day one and using the uh, uh, experience that I have with uh, committees and boards, I think uh, uh, it's, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a useful there. Also with um, being a role model, I think it's important also to be a role model, to be, to be a sober, to be drug free and to uh, lead a healthy lifestyle is one of the important things that, uh, that, uh, is in, that I, I would, uh, I would uh, agree to. And uh, I was just looking at the November calendar for the health center and uh, what all the, uh, all the uh, programming that are happening, like uh, diabetes and men's group and anger management and stuff like that. And the good work that the folks are doing there, along with the prevention, they're doing awesome with that too, and helping a lot, and the recreation, and uh, the Child and Family Agency, and there's women's groups and men's groups, anger management, and when I was in uh, the clinic, I actually uh, ran those programs out of uh, Brighter Futures. So I have some experience in that, setting up family conferences and stuff. And I was also going to mention that the cream is uh, something that uh, we are losing and uh, we just recently uh, launched a map for the Cree language uh, project and uh, that's available to the community now and just got to see how it goes and see how many people actually use it. And I would, uh, if elected, I would actually like to work on a more enhanced uh, Cree language program that's a little more hands-on, a little more um, uh, learning based. And maybe in the, if we're if we're um, if we focus on me making a, a, maybe a, a cultural and um, language center uh, available to uh, the membership in the future here and in Little Red, I mean Little Red and in Montrali, that would be uh, something to uh, begin to work on to find uh, financing for that, to find uh, funding for it. And also, like Dila mentioned, uh, helping uh, with uh, media and how uh, it uh, brings about uh, information and uh, the videos and all that. And uh, we had a visit from uh, Scott Moe and uh, PA, PA Mayor and some uh, council not too long ago through Montreal Lake, through Malnos, and they were talking about uh, 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 up maintaining this bridge over here. So we have them on video, so we have to uh, we can be able to use that to keep bugging them to keep uh, 
on them for what they uh, mentioned at the uh, their meetings. And uh, the DLA also mentioned the family and how our family is uh, connected in different ways and how many, how much uh, we've tried to help in different ways to uh, be a part of the community. And as Ricky had mentioned something about uh, homelessness in the, in the community and the addictions. And, and when I was in Montreal Lake uh, Friday, I was mentioning uh, of how the, uh, how the uh, drug, uh, I don't know what do you call it, um, drug community, I guess, how they, uh, how they freely run all over the reserve and just uh, move drugs left and right. And they actually use uh, the um, fireworks uh, system also. And uh, we can uh, probably figure out a way to figure out what, what, uh, what different things that we can do to slow that down. And our post-sec uh, students, they uh, struggle. They struggle um, living day to day in um, the cities. And uh, they have uh, daily needs that are difficult for them because they don't have enough uh, resources. And it's, uh, it's hard to get by sometimes. Even when I was in Ontario, I had to use the soup kitchen. I had to use the... Uh, uh, a number of times, and it's uh, it's it's a it's a different feeling when you have to line up to feed your your own family, and the the emergency preparedness. Um, like I don't really know where it's sitting at. Like if it's uh, as, you know, like we we need to uh, get the leadership on working with uh, working to bring us up to date on emergency preparedness and um, the, um, like uh, if we had a water crisis again or if we had a power outage again for an extended amount of time, then uh, we would actually uh, have a, a people uh, uh, suffering for no reason. The other thing too was uh, former leaders, um, uh, when they run for office now, and they don't have their grade 12, then uh, they they are not allowed to run. So I don't agree with that because the former leaders have been elected before. I think they should have be able to run without even worrying about having a grade 12 if they've been elected in office before. And I would like to suggest that to the uh, governance if uh, elected in the next election. I think you have a, about a year before the next general election to work on that. And uh, again, uh, I had mentioned the uh, house and plows that is uh, coming up, and uh, Larange and I think it's Sturgeon are uh, they are uh, getting a their uh, advances on beginning of December, and that's a like I think it's a ten thousand dollar advance, and they get more afterwards in April and something like that. But um, when it comes time to us with the uh, Having a face, being faced with a situation where we either sign or not, we I think we should take it uh, seriously because uh, if we sign now, then we can not approach the government again. That's in the fine print, eh? As far as I understand it, I may be wrong. And also uh, the uh, idea of uh, having a. Um, uh, oh, never mind, I'll just skip that. So, four more minutes to go. So, on uh, November 18th, I'm also uh, one of the candidates for um, uh, running for this position that's open. And I would like to um, ask for your support to vote for me on that day. Thank you.